We live in the age of social media where you literally can't check Instagram without feeling like someone's flexing on you. But as you scroll through people's highlight reels, do you ever get the feeling that maybe the influencers that seem to live far better lives than you are just faking it? Well, you might be right about that. I'm about to count down the top 10 influencers exposed for living fake lives and trust me, you're gonna feel pretty good about yourself when I'm done. Welcome back to another Inform Overload Top 10. Somebody stop me! By the way, I'm Charlotte. If you're new here, this is Inform Overload. We bring you the freshest news updates on the internet, peppered with a nice medley of saucy top 10s. Delicious! Subscribe so we get to hang out on the regs. Follow the IO team on Instagram and Twitter. I promise the vast majority of our hosts are actually cool people. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video for some bonus content. Yay. The tea! The tea is hot! All right, let's get into this list. In at 10, Carla Bellucci. 37-year-old Carla Bellucci is a former model and is also known as the UK's most hated influencer. And that's because she faked clinical depression to get a free nose job from the NHS, valued at $14,000 US. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. She also bragged about it on this morning and she said she had no regrets. Carla insists that there are other people who are taking advantage of the NHS because of cracks in the system and she was coached on what to say. The NHS doesn't always pay for cosmetic surgery, but there there have been instances where they do pay for cosmetic surgery for psychological or health reasons. Bellucci also says that her 90,000 Instagram followers regularly send her gifts and she even tried to crowdfund a $30,000 Brazilian butt lift. That one didn't really work out though ever since the truth about her came out. In at number 9, Aga Brzezostowska. Aga, who's known online as Alicia, is 20 years old and Polish born. From her Instagram photos, she appears to be black. But when a photo of her when she was 13 went viral, showing much lighter skin and a much thinner body, she was accused of blackfishing and cultural appropriation. So blackfishing is a term to describe people who pose as black or mixed race on social media by using makeup, hair products, and sometimes even surgery. Alicia describes herself as being olive skin and denies the accusations of cultural appropriation. She simply likes fake tanning. A lot. But that is not all. She also sports cornrows on a regular basis and her style can only be described as urban. You can't deny how different she looked when she was 13 and many have accused her of getting surgery so she looks more like a black woman. Alicia is a micro influencer with about 25,000 followers but she has received free clothes and products in exchange for posts. She denies getting surgery to change her body and she also denies being white. <laughs> At number 8 on our list, Rob Vanna. Yo Vanna Mendoza aka Rob Vanna is a YouTuber famously known for being a vegan. She she regularly posts content about her vegan lifestyle. Well, she used to anyway. She had a devoted fan base who would turn to her for tips and inspiration, and she has 1.2 million followers on Instagram. That number actually used to be 1.3 million followers because back in March of 2019, she was exposed after she was seen in another blogger's video eating fish. How dare you! How dare you eat fish? Yovana finally came clean in a 33 minute YouTube video where she tries to explain herself, stating that veganism has been detrimental to her health. She began to lose her menstrual cycles, she was fatigued, and her doctor told her that she had to eat eggs and meat. She was forced to abandon her vegan diet after six years and started eating fish and eggs. Since the scandal broke, she's changed her name to Yovana and not Ravana because that would imply she eats a raw diet. You get what I'm saying. At seven, Emily Ratajkowski. <laughs> Emily Ratajkowski and her millionaire husband were exposed by their landlord because apparently they don't pay rent. What? They live for free in their no-ho loft in New York thanks to a legal loophole meant to protect struggling artists. Her husband, filmmaker Sebastian Blair McLaird, is worth an estimated $12 million, but apparently he owes his landlord $120,000 because he and his wife are exploiting the loft law, which helps struggling artists and low-income families in need of affordable housing by preventing landlords from kicking them out if they live illegally in commercial loft spaces. This law has been in place since 1982, but as you can probably tell, one of the most famous supermodels in the world and her millionaire husband are not struggling artists. To make matters worse, their landlord Landlord reports that they regularly have loud parties until the wee hours of the morning, making it difficult for their neighbors to get a good night's sleep. After the news broke, Emily's comment section on Instagram was filled with nasty remarks from people who are urging her to just like, yo, pay your rent, dude. In at number six, we got Lisa Lee, the woman who inspired this list. Love you, Lisa. Lisa Lee is a Weibo influencer from China who often flaunts her lavish lifestyle online, as most influencers do. But the problem is, she was like cropping out what her apartment really looked like. 
Lisa Lee made international news in September of 2019 after her former landlady gave a guided tour of her former apartment. The place was covered in dog excrement, garbage, dust, and it pretty much looked like a landfill. Lisa's landlord felt compelled to expose Lisa for who she really is after Lisa moved out of her property without paying bills, and also apparently without cleaning. After several failed attempts to call her, Lisa's landlady basically had enough and she wanted to show the world what her former tenant was really like. Her apartment was so disgusting that professional cleaners refused to touch it. Like not even with like rubber gloves, dude. That's saying something. It's like radioactive. Miraculously, Lisa came out of hiding and returned to thousands upon thousands of messages from angry fans who called her a phony. Lisa did end up apologizing to her landlady. She paid her back the unpaid utility costs and also posted a video that shows her cleaning her gross flat. Sweeping up the dog poo. By that time though, it was already too late. Halfway there now at number 5, Your Highness Xiao Bi Lu. This influencer was a live streamer from China who's known for her sweet and healing voice. She had many generous followers, close to a million of them on Do You, who donated more than $15,000 to her just to watch her. She has the appearance of a young, vivacious woman. But it turns out that she was using a filter all along. A glitch revealed that she's actually a 58 year old woman. That's awkward. Needless to say, she lost a ton of followers who were mostly men. Live streaming is a very lucrative business in China. There are around 425 million live streamers who commonly use face filters. They make money by singing karaoke, talking, or eating. <laughs> but because many of them use face filters, you never know what a Chinese live streamer really looks like. So best keep your money in your pockets, fellas. Huh? At number 4 we've got Caroline Calloway. Caroline Calloway is an American influencer with about 800,000 Instagram followers who found fame through her clever captions and by using the hashtag Adventuregram. But it turns out that her huge following might be totally fake. In a tell all essay written by Caroline Calloway's ex best friend, Natalie Beach, she was exposed for taking out ads designed to look like posts to promote her Instagram. And she bought tens of thousands of fake followers to make it seem like she had a way bigger following than she actually had. But that's not all Caroline was lying about. Natalie Beach claims that she helped Caroline write her always witty and hilarious captions and almost half of her proposal for her unwritten memoir. The story goes that Caroline was told by literary professionals that no one would ever buy a memoir from someone with no following and no claim to fame. That's fair enough. So she went ahead and she created the fame herself. She ended up landing a $375,000 book deal and got $500,000 in advance to write her memoir about being an influencer. She never credited her friend Natalie for doing a huge chunk of the writing for her. Gotta hand it to Caroline. She fooled everyone, but she never went ahead with her book deal. She's widely known now as a scammer and she owes her publisher over $100,000. Getting close now at number 3, Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo aka YouTube's queen of clout recently married fellow clout chaser Jake Paul in a lavish wedding in Las Vegas. After the wedding, there were a lot of people coming out of the woodwork to say that the wedding was kind of fake. First of all, it wasn't registered in the state of Nevada where the wedding took place, so there's your first red flag. Big, big red flag. Also, the couple didn't leave their wedding together either. Kind of weird. So that's another red flag. At the time, Tana took to Twitter to shut down rumors about her wedding being fake. But a few days later, she actually admitted that the whole thing was a sham in an episode of her YouTube show, Tana Turns 21. She said, I quote, I think we are all trying to piece together the puzzles of what we actually want this engagement and marriage to be. I have a lot of love for him, but it's still something fun and lighthearted that we're obviously doing for fun and content. I mean, obviously you're just doing it for fun and content. So when Tana admitted this, people were pretty angry about it. A lot of people paid a lot of money to watch that wedding. I think it was like $50 or something to stream it. So Tana went on Twitter to explain herself. She said, I understand people's frustrations with the soundbite from the show and it's the last thing I want to talk about right now, but obviously I just uploaded an 8 minute YouTube video on how much I love Jake and I'm not trying to look like that much of a sociopath. In further tweets, she basically said that the soundbite from the MTV show was taken out of context and she didn't actually admit that her marriage was fake. So she still wants people to believe that she and Jake Paul are married. I highly doubt that. And at our number two spot, Danielle Kahn. <sighs> Danielle. We couldn't do a list like this without featuring Danielle Kahn. With 3.7 million followers on Instagram and 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube, Danielle Kahn is probably one of the best known controversial social media influencers in the world. And that is because, for a long time, no one knew her real age. 
She claimed online that she was 15 years old, but there were numerous YouTube videos made to expose her real age, which is actually 13. Then recently, Danielle Cohn's own father came forward to expose the truth about Danielle's real age because he was worried about her safety. Companies like YouTube, Fashion Nova, Instagram, Buzzfeed, Universal, Target, and Bang Energy Drinks were okay with child exploitation. What I mean by that is Danielle's photos are often scantily clad. She regularly wears bikinis and lingerie and has been doing so since she was only 11. All the while, the companies she's partnering with are profiting off of her young age. But Danielle's age is not the only part about her that she's faking to get attention. Oh shit, I went there. Danielle Khan has faked her marriage to Mikey Tua as well as a pregnancy in 2019 and she admitted that it was just for fun. And are you ready for number one? We got Miss Lil Tay. Oh girlfriend, I haven't talked about Lil Tay in a minute. I kind of miss Lil Tay. Oh, you guys. Okay, so if you don't know who Lil Tay is, she was a foul-mouthed Asian child rapper and internet star that shot to stardom on Instagram because she would swear and use the N-word. <laughs> she had more than a million followers on the platform who would make jokes out of trolling her videos where Lil Tay would pose as this like rich nine-year-old girl. She'd throw $100 bills at the camera, use racial slurs, sit in Lambos, and show off her impressive living quarters. How did a nine-year-old pretend rapper afford those dope apartments? Well, it turns out that online persona was all just a cash grab. Her older brother was the mastermind behind Little Tay, and he would be directing her when the cameras weren't rolling. She staged fake fights with fellow internet flexor Bad Baby and Will Vicky. The lavish apartments she was showing off, yeah, it turns out that her mother's a real estate agent in Vancouver, and she would let her daughter use her expensive listings in her videos. Oh yeah, and she, she got in trouble for that too, apparently. Little Tay actually ended up deleting her social media after her father intervened. He disapproved of Little Tay's online persona and got rid of it for good. No one knows what Little Tay is up to now, but I'm I'm assuming she's living a normal life under strict adult supervision. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Did I miss anybody? I feel like I did. I feel like there's a lot of these. Let's face it, no one is who they seem to be on social media. <laughs> do you guys want a part two? Let me know in those comments. And while you do that, it is time for some comment features. Like my song? These comments were from my last top 10, top 10 YouTube channels that might be shutting down this year. Pastel Kitty said, why was Onesia not on this list? Well, Pastel Kitty, that is a good question. I have looked into the whole Onesian, Onesian, I really don't care. And uh, to be honest, the story is pretty controversial, so controversial that it's gonna be a difficult topic for us to cover at all without risking demonetization or a strike on our channel. So there's that old hat. Also, I just don't really feel like giving him press. Dude, the dude said, I feel like YouTube is gonna eventually end itself with the way they've been doing inconsistent and whatnot. I, I feel like I know what you're talking about. There's always gonna be another YouTube channel on top though. It usually changes from year to year. YouTube will never die, don't worry. <laughs> Happy Me said, top 10 YouTube channels that should close down. Oh, that's savage. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate if I do that video, but I kinda want to. Do you want, do you want that video? I feel, like I, I feel like that's a good idea. Thank you for the idea. That's it for me, thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, check out this playlist. Be sure to stick around, because apparently we got some we got some bonus content for you guys. So leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm gonna see you in a future IO video. <laughs> Stating that veganism has been detrimental to her health. Health? Detrimental to her health. At number nine, uh, sh uh here we go. Uh, bro, bros, 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 so. Mm. I got bros, 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 bros. <laughs> sh Lisa Lee is, uh, yeah, I don't know, she's gonna be that woman that has a nasty dog poo apartment. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, this is taking forever, oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay.